Hi guys, I thought I would make your life a little bit easier um, on this programming assignment and show you how to set up an HTTP client and server. Um, so I'm making, I'm going to make this code available to you um, so you can kind of see how, how this is done as well. Okay, so what we want is a server and a client that send stuff back to each other in a way that you can form HTTP requests. So on the client, we'll have we'll use the request package to basically get something from um, local uh, host at port 8000, and then we're going to print out whatever we get. On the server, we'll have two things. We'll have the run. Uh, we have this run class, um, which will specify the server address is basically anything uh, which will default to local host and port 8000. So that's where the server is going to listen. Then we'll set up an HTTP server using the server class, um, which uh, will get the server address and the handler class, which comes from here. Now, this is basically all defined in the documentation of HTTP server. You can kind of read about that, that here. Um, there's a base handler. We don't want to use it because it doesn't do anything. We basically want to use the... Um, so that's kind of the default, but when we call it, we're going to override it with, um, we'll pass the HTTP server class, and then we'll pass the simple HTTP request handler, um, which is described a little bit later in here somewhere uh, there. Okay, so let's see what happens. So when we have this, um, we can run the server, and we can then run the client. And the client is going to spit out the content of index.html, which is just some file that I put in here, um, but it could be anything. So when you don't specify a file, it basically defaults to index.html. Now, let's see how this happens. So what we, we'll see how that happens in a second. So here we're running the simple HTTP request handler, which will basically just serve files from the local directory, but it's not exactly what we want. So we're going to replace this with uh, my HTTP request handler, which will extend the simple HTTP request handler. Now the question is what code to write here, right? Um, there's a bunch of functions. For example, you need to override the do get method such that when we do it, it pass a get request, uh, the get request gets handled. Well, it gets handled in send head, which is here, uh, which has a bunch of stuff, but not too much. You can see in the end, we end up producing an HTTP OK response. Now, how do we know what to put in here? Um, the easiest way to find out is to mm, close this down. We want to override the simple um, HTTP request handler. So you right click on that you go to uh, declaration. Great. And now it opens some file, cool, which is in Python 3.7, um, that is the handler. So it extends the base handler, which doesn't do anything, really, um, to implement simple request handler. So what I do is I want to copy this code over, everything for this class, okay, into my class. Okay. There's a bunch of imports I need to fix. I need to fix the server version, but that's super easy. And so basically now I have uh, my class extends this class, but my class now does everything exactly that this class does. Okay. So what I can do to show you guys, I can go to server. I can stop it and rerun it. I can go to client. I can run it. And the client will still give me back the file. Now, the code that's executing is actually this code here. Um, and now you can basically start modifying this code. You can start modifying the do get method, okay? Or do post, you, I guess you can add a do post method um, to basically do the type of handling that your, you need your server to do. Um, there's a way to simplify this. You don't need all this code. Um, but anyway, I think it could be a good starting point. And it's certainly a starting point that um, has you guys running something already. Um, 
and search it from a running point. And you can kind of see, I mentioned that this defaults to index.html and in send head method, a, where does it do it? It does it up there. Okay, so we get, um, we do a do get, we go to send head and it basically checks uh, if this ends with something, uh, it's gonna do one thing, but then another thing it's going to do is, uh, it's going to start looking for these files if no other file is specified. All right, so that's just a short intro. I hope you find it useful. Um, let me know how things are going, if I can help. All right, thanks guys.